Warning, you are not watching Siskel and Ebert. You are now entering Wayne World. So then topical back with another video. I'm Strange Wayne and I got a movie review for everything, everywhere, all at once. But before we get that housekeeper as usual, go down to the description box down below. Follow us on social media. It's greatly appreciated. Help me out personally. You want to help out Strange Wing? This pretty face. Then go to Strange Wing Paints on Etsy and see if you can find a painting you like. Like this one. Shitty movie, but damn. Strange Wing can paint. Enough of my plugs. I a lot. We also got a coffee account and a Patreon. Help us out with that. Then we would appreciate that a lot. But you can subscribe because it's free. And that costs you nada. That costs you what? Nothing. Let's get down to brass tacks. Everything, everywhere, all at once. 10 out of 10. Why? 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 Because this movie was something else. It was weird. It made me feel things. It multiplied things. It just worked. It was a perfect blending of emotion and weirdness. And the actors just fell on this and it felt real. Felt like he was real people. And all I gotta say is Dr. Jones would be very, very proud of Short Round in this film. But the acting kills it. Dialogue kills it. Filmmaking. Holy shit. <laughs> it fucking kills it. Everything in this movie works so simultaneously perfectly together it flows so well it's like a clock if something's not working on a clock you're going to notice it and it's going to stick out it's not going to go like it's supposed to this film went exactly like it was supposed to and because of that i felt a, a multitude of emotions i was laughing i was crying i felt joy i felt pain i was scared for these characters there was tension all these good things that makes a film great this film has it and a little bit more Basically, what Strange Wang's trying to say is, I thought everywhere, everything, everywhere, all at once, is so f***ing good. And because of that, this movie, watching this in a theater was incredible. The movie cinema experience with other people around you, hearing them laugh when you laugh, and just connecting with the human spirit. Watching this movie, whether it was, it was sad moments, whether it was happy moments, or eye-opening moments, this film, as a theater experience, and probably at home too, excellent. Very, <laughs> I'm going to remember this movie for the rest of my life, and this theater experience for the rest of my life. You don't get many of them like that, so when you do, it, it hits you, and I love that. This movie is one of, this movie reminds you why you love movies so much. This movie reminds me why I come home and I drive the Nates and talk about movies. Because I fucking love this shit. And what it does, it brings out these emotions. It teaches me lessons. And this film has a multitude of lessons within it. Gratitude, forgiveness, being kind, decision making. I could go on for days. And I'm not lying! And don't get it twisted, this film isn't shoving the message the lessons down the audience throat because the film recognizes the audience has a brain and recognizes that that would be very corny of it this film doesn't do that this film simply says i'm reminding you and the reminder worked i walked out of this movie wanting to be a better person i had red eyes like i was smoking that ganja but up here and in here i was like man I want to go say some nice shit to somebody. You know what I'm saying? This film, what a fucking experience. And to help with it not being corny, these lessons, the weirdness. It complements it so fucking well that it hides it. It's like makeup. You go into it expecting this weird ass movie. What you do get, it does deliver everything the director wanted this movie to be. It was. But it also gets you in there and then opens you up. They hit you with the lessons, remind you of the lessons, and that comes the emotion, the relatability, and the investment in these characters, and it works so well. It's a perfect combination, and because of that, this is probably going to be my favorite movie of the year, more than likely, and honestly, it's probably going to be one of the all-time favorites of Strange Wang. I can't wait. I want to watch this fucking movie again, 
if they would have let me, I would have sit, I would have stayed in the theater and watched it again. That's how much I love this fucking movie. On top of that, three of the characters in this film and myself also share the same last name, Wang. So it felt like I was with family. This movie was an experience. So it was everything I wanted to be and more. This film is everything, <laughs> you know, and I can see and I can think about this movie and relate to it everywhere all at once. See what I did there? But tell me your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I mean, good filmmaking. It makes you feel something at the same time. You can't beat that. But if you can, you know, that's what the comment section is there for. As I said, leave a comment. I really want to talk about this movie. If you can't tell. Subscribe, like, hit the like button, share the video. And then what? Subscribe. And buy a painting on Etsy's from Strange Wang. Strange Wang Paints. It's not a game. It's a red stick.